So color has been a huge trend this season, but don't forget that April showers bring me flowers. This is a makeup look inspired by the gray, rainy days of spring, and it would be perfect for a night out or a special occasion. Hope you enjoy! I'm starting off with no makeup on my face, and then I'm taking this green concealer and dotting it on areas where I have redness to help conceal the redness, and then I'm just blending it out with my finger. Next, I'm taking my Tarte foundation and squeezing a little bit on my hand, and then dabbing it on my face with my fingers. And I'm taking this dense brush and buffing out my foundation onto my face in circular motions to get that flawless finish look. And then I'm taking the same concealer but the flesh tone side and just concealing under my eyes and any other spots I need to make sure that the green is completely covered up. And then just blending that with my finger again. Then I'm taking this pressed powder and dabbing it on my face with a brush because I don't want a completely matte face, I want it to be a little glowy. And I'm taking this coral blush, which is a really pretty warm color, and I'm brushing this along my cheekbones and blending it in to bring some warmth to my face. And I'm taking high beam and putting that along my cheekbones, nose, forehead, and cupid's good bow as well to highlight my face and make it look more glowy like I was out in the rain. Okay, I'm priming my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion and just blending that with my finger to get ready for eyeshadow. And then as a base, I'm using the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and putting that on the inner half of my lid and my brow bone and then blending it. And I'm taking another Jumbo Pencil in Pots and Pans and putting that on the outer half of my lid as a base for those colors to really make all the eyeshadow pop. And then I'm taking this cool light gray color and putting that all over my lids with a flat shader brush. And then I'm taking this darker gray color and swirling that in my crease with a fluffy crease brush. I'm taking this matte black color and putting that in my outer V with a small detail brush to darken up the look a little bit. And this is optional if you don't want to do it. And then I'm taking a cool highlight color from the same mark palette and putting that on my brow bone and inner corner and the whole that whole arc of my eye. And then I'm taking a big fluffy brush and blending all the eyeshadows together and I'm putting just a little more of that lid color in the center of my lid to make it stand out more and I'm taking that highlight color again and putting it on the inner third of my lid to brighten up that area. Okay, then I'm lining my tight line with black eyeliner. And then taking this liquid liner and putting that along my upper lash line Make it a little bit thicker than normal, but not winging it out. And next I'm taking Gunmetal by Urban Decay with an angled liner brush and going over the liquid liner so it's more of a gray smoky line instead of a black one, but the liquid liner will help it stay all day. And I'm taking what's left over on my brush under my lower lash line about halfway in. And I'm taking a brown eyeliner to line my waterline halfway and define my eyes and warm them up a little because it's been all gray so far. Okay, then I'm taking this clear gel and using it as a mascara. You want to use a wet mascara for this so it looks like your eyelashes when they've been in the rain. And I'm also using that to set my brows. Okay, and then I to finish it off, I'm taking this light pink lip gloss and just putting that on my lips because it's nice and subtle, but you can use a brighter color if you want. Some more pictures of the finished rainy day inspired look. I hope this video was helpful, and if you enjoyed it, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!